Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome back to Academia School Simulator. Uh, what was going on? Whoa, hey, wait, wah. Uh, what was going on when we left off? That's what I was starting to say. Well, it looks like we were building out this new cafeteria area. That's right. Let's build that. Let's um, demolish that. We can expand out our new cafeteria. I guess we're going to have to lay down some... Uh, Laying down some uh, concrete tiles along this section as well, but we'll wait until they tear out the existing wall there. Probably going to render our cafeteria useless for a short period of time, but we will fix that up soon enough. That's not soon enough, as they say, um, but that's okay. We go zone, we go zone edit, click on that. Nope, how about we click on that then? And we remove zone, and then we go cafeteria, cafeteria, there it is right there. And we go, wow, look at that giant cafeteria, so big. Really cool sound effects too, by the way. You're welcome, everybody. I know people have really enjoyed all the special details that I bring to our channel here, like the great sound effects and the funny comments. So you're welcome. Um, let's speed that up a little bit. Students are all heading off to their classes. I guess they all crammed into that club. Did not have much time to enjoy themselves before it was uh, time to start the school day, though. Uh, we are on, oh, day two of year three. That's right, we've started a new year. I forgot all about that. Uh, but it seems like things are going pretty well. I'm not sure why all these people are just chilling in the uh, break, in the uh, um, lunchroom here. Uh, I'm going to pull that garbage can out. Like, it might not be a bad idea to have garbage cans inside the lunchroom, but we don't really need them at this moment. What I am going to do is cram in a bunch more tables. I know how much you guys love how, uh, how, uh, how tight I pack this stuff. Efficiency is my middle name. Actually, Aaron is my middle name, so I take that back. Efficiency is my primary drive when it comes to playing a game. Now, that is accurate. Um, actually, having fun is my primary drive. Stop, stop acting like I know what I talk. I'm talking about. Um, but uh, I do like to be efficient. How's that? That is, that is always a secondary goal. Yes, that I can say with sincerity and conviction. Get, uh, get all these guys laid out along here. There we go. And. We'll have plenty of room for more people to eat in our cafeteria once I get this stuff laid out. Because we're going to have a lot of students before too long. Let's close that down. There we go. Keep going. And we'll go through there like that. Very good. Put those up in there and there, there, and here more. There's another set of them. There's a bunch. Here's some. There's some. Everywhere is some, some. Okay, good. Uh, all those are set. So, what's next? Well, say probably expanding out this area, right? Now, those are restrooms, and these are going to be classrooms. It's more classrooms than we need, because we only need four more classrooms. So, one of these might become something else, maybe. But what else? Oh, was this supposed to be something else? I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, I guess we might just have a spare room and I just didn't plan out properly. Two freshmen, two senior, two junior. There's a sophomore. There's the other sophomore classroom. All right, well, I guess I just don't know what I'm doing here. Um, I'm going to do something crazy here and I'm going to lay down the concrete tile first. And then we will build the walls around it. Doesn't that sound exciting? I know I'm really going out, really going out on a limb here for you guys. You're welcome. I hope all the longtime fans appreciate what I'm doing for you by taking a big risk like this. Um, but it'll be neat, I think. That's exactly the word that I'm looking for to describe how this is going to be neat. Um, we're going to do that, and then I'm going to go to the bathroom tiles because these are going to be bathrooms. Can't have a bathroom without bathroom tiles, right? Huh? Just like our kitchen is not a kitchen without kitchen tiles? Wait a minute. I didn't put kitchen tiles in there. Sean, what are you talking about? Are you, you crazy all of a sudden? Nope. 
I'm just being silly. Silly goose. Yeah, one guy up here building those concrete tiles. Where is all the rest of our construction workers? Why are they not up here building more concrete tiles? They need to get involved. Be a part of the solution. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem, construction workers. That's what I always say. I don't know that I've ever said that before, but I'm going to pretend that I always say it. Because why not? Nice little hallway being built there. Let's, uh, I guess I'm probably not going to be able to put uh, those doors down until they get the concrete tiles on there, am I? I mean, those, I already have the concrete tiles. Can I, oh, I can. Well, that's good. Good to know. All right, one, two, three, four classes. And we will sit and wait until they get around to filling up those rooms. You really have to go a long ways to get to that stuff. Uh, one other thing that uh, would not be a bad idea would be to erase some of the drawings that are left over uh, through here, because there's a little bit. It's not really a problem, but I find it a little annoying when you look over there and you see a drawing that has a wall on top of it or a doorway, usually is when you end up noticing that. And everybody's going home. Bye. Bye, everybody. You know what I think I need more of? Cooks. I'm going to wait till tomorrow, though. Why pay them for today when uh, they aren't actually going to do any work until tomorrow? So let's wait until nighttime falls and daytime rises. And then we will be able to, uh, we will be able to do that any moment now. Is there somebody hanging out in the... Hanging out inside. Oh, look at that. That cook. Poor cook. Had to sleep in the kitchen. In the cafeteria. Last time somebody slept in the hallway, I threatened to fire him. But then their union representative got in touch with me and said that I need to stop being such a jerk. That it's probably my fault they had to sleep in the hallway. I'm not really sure how it's my fault. But I will accept that it wasn't necessarily their fault either. Maybe they were trying to work extra hard and do a good job. I'll accept that. People... People can work extra hard and do a good job, I suppose. In theory, I've heard about that sort of thing actually happening. It'd be nice if they would carry in some of the food deliveries if they're working so hard. Um, or if we would just stop getting so many deliveries. Somebody called the grocery store. The, uh, the ocean called. They're running out of shrimp. Uh, 52 students absent due to sickness. Well, some things never change. And that would be the uh, rampant illness that never changes. And uh, war, war never changes from what I hear. Um, and it uh, looks like the floors are looking good. I'm going to start setting up the walls to be built. And then we will uh, be even closer to our goal, um, which is, uh, I'm not really sure. Cannot finish that sentence quite yet. What I am going to do is I'm going to build the exterior wall here first, uh, just like I put those doors in. That way I can tear down the uh, tear down the the hallway dividers that I have going on in that section there. Uh, everybody's going to recess. Enjoy your club. Enjoy your library. Enjoy the computer room. That computer lab fills up quick. Those students love using those computers. Very old, funny-looking computers there. Yeah, actually, they don't look so bad when you get in close like this. From back here, they look like they're really like 1980s-style computers, but you get in there and they're like mid-90s-style computers. So I take back my comment. I withdraw my complaint, counselor. Overruled. And there we go. A build. Demolish there, demolish here, and that's all good. Um, let's put some lockers in just for fun. Where are those lockers? Uh, somewhere in here. Uh, there they are. Nope, that's much better. If you build them outside the walls, they usually work better. I know, it sounds crazy, 
Just crazy enough. Crazy enough, it just might work. Whole bunch of lockers for no real reason, other than it's a high school. Cancel. There we go. Lots of very careful clicking on my part. There we go, and then we go back to build, and we go to concrete tiles, and I lay some tiles there, and I lay some tiles there, and then I go to brick walls, and we do that, and that there, go down like that, and uh, put a wall there. Uh-oh, it's going to try to double up on that one wall segment. Not going to work, though. It's not how the game works, construction workers. Nice try. All right, there's uh, the framework for our classrooms. And we'll get those walls built, and then I will... Uh, actually, I guess I don't really need to wait, do I? We go with student chairs. And we're going to have one, two, three, four, five... So 15, we'll have 30, 30 in that one, only, um, hmm, so 30, 30, 24, and 24, okay, so transfer, can I type it in, nope. Maybe I should only bring in 24. Since I want them to be able to graduate up. I don't really understand how that works exactly. Like, in theory, I think it's supposed to work that way. There we go. Great. We'll just go with that. Um, and so that means I can cancel that and cancel that. Um, and we go back to objects, and we go back to student chairs, and we just fill in all this nonsense. Very good. Lots of clicking to get in all these desks. And some clicking up here to get in the desks up here. And um, I guess after we get these classrooms running... I'll probably go through and replace all of my teachers with uh, teachers that have doctorates um, so we can get the best possible education level out of all of our students. Um, unfortunately, most of them are still going to be absent every day or every third day or whatever. <laughs> like there's going to be huge absenteeism and there's really nothing I can do about that. But at least we will have the best possible teachers for the students that are here. Get some chairs for those teachers. There we go. All right, there's all that. And then over here, we're going to have some toilets. So we will go to objects. We will go to toilet. We will put one cubicle in here because this will be the men's room. This will be the women's room. I don't really like the way that I set up that men's room, though. And um, put some urinals along the wall. Put some urinals along this wall. Put some in the middle here. And then sinks. Lots of sinks for people to walk by and ignore. That is the nature of restrooms, I suppose. It's an unpleasant thing you don't really want to think about. I am going to um, erase this layout. Actually, I'm just going to erase any layout that's left up there. Don't really need to have that spare classroom set up in there. Don't like how away from the wall these lockers are, even though they are in the correct square. It'd be nice if they backed up against the wall. Bye, workers. Sleep well. I'll miss you. Also going to hire some uh, hire some more janitors. Now 
There we go. That might help. Didn't really look like the place is a mess or anything, but we've, we're opening up this whole new area. So if it's not a mess, it will be soon. All right, get those tables, student desks built. Make that place part of the place nice. Oh, I just realized if I'm going to fire all my teachers, that means I'm going to have to fire myself. 61 students absent today due to illness. They do not like our clinic for some reason. Nobody seems to be going in there. Very disappointing. Got a bunch of very nice nurses standing around, getting paid, not doing anything. Look at these new classrooms, though. Very fancy. And almost complete. There we go. New bathrooms, almost complete. We go zone, toilet, toilet one, toilet two, and then we go to zone, edit, edit male, edit female. There we go, great, good stuff. More places for the kids to go to the bathroom, just what you wanna see in a video game. And they're enjoying their lockers. And how long till the new students show up? Two days. It'll say tomorrow when it's actually tomorrow. So I think it will say tomorrow on the tomorrow within the game tomorrow, which may or, well, that should be today within when you're watching it, but that's actually tomorrow based on when I'm recording this. So tomorrow, it'll say tomorrow today. And today it'll say tomorrow, tomorrow. That was fun. Good good old wordplay. You're welcome, everybody. That's what you tune in for, right? It's awesome wordplay like that. Just the hilarious hijinks that we get up to here at Vanilla PC Strategy with our half-empty classrooms. And uh, teachers that don't necessarily exist, really. I don't know if we're actually going to have enough money to, uh, to hire... Um, all uh, doctors. Like, I can hire four more doctors, or four doctors to come in for the new classrooms, for sure. But I don't know that I have enough cash to replace all the existing teachers with doctors. Uh, it's probably going to cost... I don't know. How much is it going to cost? Um, $5,900. Yeah, I would not be able to get 12 teachers at $6,000 a piece. That'd be 70 something thousand dollars. So we may not be able to achieve that dream, but we can achieve the dream of having approximately 250 students. Seems like a fairly, fairly good dream for a uh, school of our size. I don't know that we'll be able to get much bigger than that. I, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to hit that by the end of this episode, but uh, we shall see what happens. Bye, everybody. Enjoy your evening at home. Watch the new Game of Thrones. It's exciting. It's got a dragon in it. Hey, who's holding up the day switch? All right, transferees. Tomorrow. Good. So I will have to bring in a bunch of new teachers tomorrow. Zones. Classroom zone. Bam. One, two, three, four. Zone. I say zone. 63 students today. Um, uh, nope, you know what? This will stay freshman, so I don't know why I bothered clicking on it. I guess I could have made that one sophomore. Sophomore. Junior. Senior. Too far. There we go. All right. I will assign teachers to those in the morning so I don't have to pay for their salaries today. Although apparently some students have decided they're just going to go hang out in those classrooms even though there's no teachers. Can you just use a classroom because it exists and 
not necessarily be assigned to any particular classroom. So like, you can just change teachers whenever you feel like it. Ooh, that's not so good. So that means these teachers are not, I mean, these students are not getting particularly well educated. Um, that's unexpected behavior. Lunchtime, everybody's eating, everybody's snacking. Well, sort of. They were trying, anyways, trying to get some of that eating and snacking in there. But maybe, maybe I was too fast to judge them. Um, I'm not zoning. I want to put in objects because I want to put in some trash cans. Let's make sure I get these facing the right direction. All right, like that. And they can have an opportunity to keep their kitchen clean, their cafeteria clean. Maybe I should put some up in the hallways here too. Like that, very good. Always look a little crowded, but you know, it's those lockers, they take up, they look like they take up more space than they actually do. All right. Well, we're going to get ourselves up to 250 students here. That's going to be exciting. 96 transfer students are coming in tomorrow. We knew it. And uh, actually, I don't think it's going to be much of a surprise that we have 250 students because I don't see any way that I don't make that the title of this episode. I love all those double negatives. That's exactly what you want to have in your uh, school-based video game is uh, very bad English. So you're welcome. I'm a principal. I'm not a teacher or an administrator. I guess I'm an administrator. That is uh, how we're referred to by the uh, developers of the game. Um, all right. Uh, let's get our staff. Let's look at our teachers. Let's bring in some doctors. Louis Zweer. Sure. You're hired. And I'll smack you down right there. I, uh, how about Willie Ver Veroba? Why not? Willie, you're hired. Uh, Kenyatta Pickleb? Of course. Teach away. Shamika Kimmet. You're part of our school. All right. And then I go to zone, zone edit. I edit this one. And I assign a teacher. And wait a minute, why does it look like they're all assigned? Oh, so does it automatically assign them when you place them down in there? Okay. That's new. The game must have got upgraded when I wasn't looking. Very cool. All right. So we've got new teachers. We're going to have a bunch of new students here in a moment. Today, yay! And that means we're going to have a ton of cash coming in. Well, guys, as much as I want this to go on forever, I don't really know what else there is that we can do. I mean, we could continue expanding, but to what end, you know? Um, like, we have a huge student body, which is great. Only 24 stu absence, students absent today. It's pretty pretty awesome, um, but we've um, I guess we haven't achieved all the grants. I guess that school expansion three hundred grant appeared out of nowhere. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know what else there is to do here, other than just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Even there, we've gotten pretty big, taking up half the map. You can see we're getting a little bit of lag as well. I guess only when we're zoomed out all the way. The kitchen's a mess. Oh, and our delivery thing is about to overflow too. So, um, yeah, I think this might be it for this series, guys. Um, for now, uh, once uh, once they add in some additional features, uh, it'd be fun to revisit. Um, I'm gonna guess that I probably won't be able to reload this save when they update it, 
but maybe I will. But if not, we can start a whole new school and see what happens. Um, I do want to thank everybody for watching this. I'm really happy with how well this series is done. Um, uh, you know, um, you've seen what's in this game. Um, you know, I've had people ask me whether I would recommend it or not. Um, you know, it's pretty fun, but it does seem limited. Uh, I don't know what else there is to do other than what we've already done. And I don't know how many times I would want to do this over and over again, you know? Uh, so, you know, there's, there's definitely some limitations there. Um, there's also some bugs, uh, like they're not using the clinics, um, and the sickness and the dish problems that we've seen. Um, but the developers are working on them, you know, so, uh, it's definitely a game to keep an eye on. If this is like your favorite kind of game, $20 is a good deal for this. Um, it, you know, and it's also the very first release on an early access game. So there's plenty to come. I definitely think this is a game to keep an eye on. And, um, you know, when you feel like it's gotten to the level of features that you're looking for, uh, then you want to go ahead and buy it. And I'm definitely going to keep an eye on it myself. And as new features are added in, I'll, uh, uh, you know, uh, revisit it, just like I'm revisiting um, Sim Airport right now and uh, 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 Production Line, because uh, they've gotten new features and stuff, and it's fun to come back to these games and see how much they've grown. So we'll probably come back to this one in, you know, a while and see what new stuff has happened. Uh, so thank you so much to everybody who's been watching. I really appreciate it. Um, why don't you click that like button before you leave? And leave me a comment, and um, I will have some other fun series starting up here. No question about that. Uh, but uh, it'll be probably be a while before we see this one again. Uh, thanks, everybody. I will see you next time. Uh, bye.